Hi, this is Miss Torres, and today we are going to continue our lesson on position words. Last lesson of Go Math was 10.8, where you learned about above and below, and this is lesson 10.9, and we are going to focus on the words next to and beside. So if we look at the tree here, we have two objects. We have a cat and we have a bench. Now, the position words that you can use for these objects is next to and beside. So if we look at the tree, we could say that the bench is next to the tree. And you could say that the cat is beside the tree. Both next to and beside mean the same thing. Okay, the bench is next to the tree, the bench is beside the tree. You can use both words to mean the same thing. Okay, let's get started. This is the first page in the Go Math lesson for 10.9. Okay, and we see a girl here who looks like she is dribbling a soccer ball through some cones. So what we want to do is we want to find the object that is shaped like a cone that is beside the object shaped like a sphere. So first, let's find the cones. We have one cone, two cones, and three cones. All three of these shapes are shaped like a cone. But it's asking you to find the cone that is beside the sphere. So which one of these cones is beside the sphere? Cone number one, cone number two, or cone number three. Now, if you're wondering what the sphere is, which sphere? Well, remember, a sphere is one of the 3D shapes we learned, and the soccer ball is shaped like a sphere. So cone number one is the cone that is next to or beside the sphere. The next question is asking you to trace the circle on the object shaped like a sphere that is next to the object shaped like a cube. So we're looking for a sphere next to a cube. So first let's look in the picture that you see here. Where do you see the cube? I want you to point to the cube. Right, you should have pointed to this object right here. This object, this box, is shaped like a cube. Now, they want you to find the sphere that is next to the cube, right? So is this soccer ball right here, is this sphere next to the cube? I don't think so. Point to the sphere that is next to the cube. You should have circled or pointed to this sphere right here. This sphere is right next to the cube right here. Okay, let's move on. We are going to continue finding our 3D shapes that are next to or beside each other. So this is kind of like a game similar to I Spy. I'm going to give you a clue and you are going to point to the shape you think I am talking about. Are you ready? All right, number one, point to the bead that is shaped like a cube that is beside the bead shaped like a cone. I will, will repeat that again. You're looking for a bead shaped like a cube that is beside a bead shaped like a cone. So a cube beside a cone. Which cube is beside the cone? Go ahead and point to that. Okay, so I'm going to show you the two cubes. We have one cube here and we have one cube here. Now remember, the question was to find the cube that is beside the cone. So is it the purple cube or the green cube that is beside the cone? 
and it is the green cube. That's the one you should have pointed to. That is the answer to the first puzzle. This cube is beside the cone. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Mystery number two. I want you to point to the bead shaped like a cone that is next to the bead shaped like a cylinder. Again, you're looking for the cone that is next to the cylinder. Hmm, which one could that be? The cone that is next to the cylinder. Go ahead and point to that cone. First, I'm going to find the two cones. So we have one cone here, it's green. And then I have one red cone over here. That that helps you trying to find the cone, which one of those cones is next to a cylinder. This is the cone right here that is next to the cylinder. Now you can come up with your own questions and answers to describe positions of other beads using next to and beside. So I'll do another quick one. If I were to say, find the sphere that is next to another sphere, which one would you choose? Find a sphere that is next to another sphere. You would choose this one because here's a sphere next to another sphere. Last one. I'm going to say find the cylinder next to the sphere. Which group would you choose if I said find a cylinder that is next to a sphere. Go ahead and point to it. This is the cylinder that is next to the sphere. We have a cylinder and a sphere. Okay, let's move on. So it looks like we have a bunch of different packages that are being put into a mail truck. And these packages are different shapes. This is kind of like another I spy. You are going to point to the object based on the clues that I give. I'm going to give you some clues and you're going to point to the right shape. All right, let's do this. Point to the object that is shaped like a cylinder that is next to the object shaped like a sphere. So, I want you to find a cylinder that is next to a sphere. Let's see if you can find it in 10 seconds. Ready, go. All right, so you should have pointed to the cylinder that is next to the sphere. And that is this cylinder right here. We have a cylinder and a sphere. That's the cylinder that is next to the sphere. You ready for the next one? Here's your next clue. I want you to point to the object shaped like a cone that is beside the object shaped like a cube. So you are looking for a cone that is beside a cube. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to find the cone that is beside the cube. Ready, go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so the cone that is beside the cube is this one right here. Here's your cone that is beside your cube. Here's the cone. And beside the cone is the cube. Is that the one that you chose? Great job. Now I want you to use the words next to and beside to describe the position of other package shapes. 
So you can say it to a family member or you can say it out loud to yourself. You're going to use next to and beside to describe the position of other packages. So like we already said, the cone is beside the cube, right? The cylinder is next to the sphere. I want you to pause the video and make up one or two of your own. Go ahead and do that. Okay, we're moving on to the last page. So if you have a paper and pencil at home, you're more than welcome to draw um, yourself or you can just watch the video, but we are going to draw to show what we know about real world 3D objects beside and next to other objects. So we are going to be drawing objects using the words beside and next to, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a tree in the middle of the paper, just like you saw at the very beginning of this lesson. So I'm going to draw a quick tree here in the middle. I'm going to draw it nice and small so that I have room for my other objects. You'll see these are some of my quicker drawings since the focus on is on the positions, not the actual drawing themselves. So I have a picture of a tree. You, if you need to pause the video so that you can draw a picture of a tree, you can do that. Okay, but we are going to be moving on. So we have a picture of a tree. Now if I said draw a flower next to the tree, where would you draw it? Draw a flower next to the tree. Again, if you need time to draw your flower next to the tree, you are more than welcome to pause the video, but I want you to draw a flower next to the tree. Okay, and here I am. I'm going to draw my flower next to the tree. Here's my flower. I'm drawing it right over here, right next to the tree. Right? It's not above the tree or below the tree. It's next to the tree. Here's my tree, and right next to it is my flower. Okay, now I would like you to also draw a pile of leaves beside the tree. Okay, so I want you to draw a pile of leaves beside the tree. Now remember, beside and next to mean the same thing. Drawing a pile of leaves beside the tree would mean that you're drawing a pile of leaves next to the tree. So I'm going to draw my leaves like little circles in a pile over here. I'm going to draw a pile of leaves next to the tree. My tree is green, so I'm drawing tree green leaves. Okay, so here is my tree and next to the tree is a pile of leaves. Or you can say, Beside the tree is a pile of leaves. So today we have talked about the words next to and beside. Okay, so at home, if you would like an activity at home, okay, I want you to think about something in the room that is beside or next to one another. You can also incorporate the shapes of those objects as well. Thank you for watching.